Hello, Internet! Praise be to God and welcome back to Harvest Moon 64! So... Last episode was a little bit boring, I'll be honest. And I'm sorry about that, but honestly, this is the part of the game where everything becomes very... very monotonous, which is unfortunate to say the least. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds weird. Hey! Hey, we're holding the dog race tomorrow at the racetrack. Why don't you enter Rory? No. Oh, that's too bad. Well, goodbye. See you later. Next year, dude. But yeah, I apologize if my voice sounds weird because... I'm recording this on a Wednesday. On Friday? Last Friday, I got sick. Like, I had a fever and a really bad cough. Still recovering from that, and I feel like I have three pounds of mucus uh, in congested in my throat. So, that's a bit annoying. Hi, DeBeef. <laughs> uh, oh, that's not good. One of my little cows merged with my big cow, which means milking the big cow is going to be a bit difficult. Alright, so main priority today, we're going to the mine, and hopefully we can find some stuff there. Unfortunately, because I just watered all my stuff, I am extremely low on stamina, so I'm gonna have to go buy some cake. Don't tell me it's... okay, good. Oh, and we also have a ton of money for the dog race, that's excellent. Alright, three pieces of cake ought to be... fine. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to make a save state today. Actually, nah. I'll save the save states for the end of winter if I still haven't found anything. Because this winter I would like to find, like, one of everything from the mine. I think that would just be pretty cool if I could do that. Alright, so we got a Moonlight Stone. Another Moonlight Stone, wow. That is iron ore. That is worth next to nothing. I know in the Game Boy Advance version, it's literally worth 1G. Not sure if that's the same in the N64 version or not, but it's not worth your time, essentially. The annoying thing is that the exit can be anywhere. The exit is always in the same space, though, once the mine is loaded, so you can use save states to just instantly find the next floor. If you want. I do want to do that, but not today, because I've only this is only my second trip to the mine. <gasps> Ooh! Found a hole! Do you want to go inside? Yes, I do. This is where we can find the good stuff. But it, does, it doesn't look good yet, but trust me, there's some rare stuff down here. Wow, for real? There are, are valuable things down here. Yeah! A blue rock. That's cool. That's just one of the many things you can get down here. And yes, there is a hole to the, a, another floor. I'm not sure if there's a limit on the amount of floors in the mine. We're done for the day. Come back again tomorrow. Take that. But yeah, that's the mine, generally. You have to be on at least the second floor if you want a chance to get the power nut. It's cold every day, isn't it? Yes, it is. So I didn't get everything I wanted in the mine, but I did get a blue rock, and that's pretty good. I'll be putting that to good use in two days, because tomorrow's the dog race, so I can't actually use it tomorrow. Welcome home, honey. Thank you, sweetheart. Hopefully I don't get sick because I used a ton of stamina today. I had to restore some by eating free pieces of cake. I don't know I don't know about you, but when I eat free pieces of cake, I don't feel like energized. I feel like oh jaba no waba. So apparently Jack feels otherwise, but Morning. I crate up the eggs. Well, what am I going to do? You're coming with me to the dog race today. Most romantic place on Earth. Ooh, tomatoes have grown. Nice, nice. I can give my dog one of these for his food. Here, sweetie, have a tomato. F thank you very much. I know it's not as romantic as cabbage, but my cabbage hasn't grown yet. I 
I need this egg to feed my dog. All right, off to the dog race. Dog race is more or less identical to the horse race. Get there early so you can place bets. Hello. All right, I hope Marin doesn't win, but someone tells me he will. Cool, and I still have 8,000 left. Ideally, I would like to get all the main prizes today at the dog race, so I don't have to worry about it next year. And considering I have over a thousand medals to begin with, I don't think that'll be a problem. Do 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 do. The first race is about to start. Get ready. I really don't want the one with the yellow scarf to win, and unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he will. Yeah, so I only get 99 medals for that. That's not very good. The results are first place Marin, second place Maple. Yeah, neither of them would be good if they had won. But I'm not resetting. No, sir. Oh, and I get to watch with Maria. That's lovely. Oh, this is gross. Two of them only have uh, one odds. Maybe I'll manipulate the race a little bit. I wonder who will win. Yeah, I might manipulate this race a little bit. All the dogs ran very hard. They did a good job. They were very cute. Yeah, they were. Not as cute as our dog, but I appreciate that. It's better when you buy a ticket, isn't it? It's better when you buy, like, a thousand. Oh, Artie, good afternoon. It's pretty exciting, eh? When you show affection to your animals, they respond to it. That's true. Gosh, I went wrong again. I always go right. Are they all were all running so hard? It was cute. I wonder what the Moo Moo Watch Prize is like. They were all fast. You know, dogs can run fast if you cherish them. That, that, that kid gets a different accent every time I talk to him. Hmm, if I lost, it's pretty difficult to anticipate. Hey! Oh no, I can't get any more medals! I'll win next time. See, I told you to take that one. Shall we have our Baron participate next time? The dogs were all so cute. Hi, what did it be? Ooh, I should get nothing. Okay, well maybe next time. Let's gaze into each other's eyes. Second race is about to start. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna manipulate this one a little bit. I'm making a temporary save state here. And I can reload that one, and it'll change the winner of the race every time I do that. So I don't want White Scarf or Yellow Scarf to win. Red Scarf would be lovely if he won. Nope. I don't want the top dogs to win. I want red to win. As long as it's not white or yellow, I will be okay. But unfortunately, because they have the lower multiplier, they have a higher chance of winning. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Somebody's meddling with the time-space continuum over and over again. And yet they're still dominating. Because the random number generator is incredibly in their favor. Plot twist, Jack is a wizard and can reset time however he likes. His wizard powers are also how he gets to get medals without having to pay anything. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Come on! That's close. I think Yevo still won, though. Oh, <gasps> Bish won! Yes! Oh, sweet papa! I got almost 1,600 medals. Well, I am happy with that. I am deliriously happy with that. 
I need another big one if I want all the prizes today, and it looks like I'll be getting another big win. I bet it everything on Sebulba. He always wins. Alright. I don't think anybody says anything different. Yeah, I don't think so. That's okay. Eh, yes. Come on. Eh, yes, 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 yes. I'm trying to hold her hand. Like, I, you can't, there's no hold hand button. I just want to be facing the right way. Right next to, okay, you know what? This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Her hip, her, her hitbox is enormous. <laughs> Third race is about to start. Yeah, I'll, I'll make another temporary save state. Get ready. Come on, black with the white scarf. Black with the white scarf. Black, white scarf. Black, white scarf. Black, white scarf. Red scarf? Alright. Did red scarf win all three races? No. Yellow won the first race. I can't remember how many points that is. I want to say it's quite a few. Results are first place Karen, second place Ichigo. Oh, what? No, that's literally the worst person it could have been. I'm sorry, worst dog. I want to end with 4,000 medals because then I can get all two of the big dog race prizes. Come on, Ichigo, I believe in you. Woohoo! They've reached the finish line, folks! So oh, what a race! What a race! <laughs> and I've turned into Ganondorf, apparently. But I got almost 3,000 medals for that. <laughs> they didn't even tell me to... Wait, there aren't four dog races. No more races today. Please come again. Cool. Oh, we use the same medals at the horse race and the dog race. Do you want to make an exchange? Yes. So we can get an awesome house. It's for your dog, not for you. A cute clock or materiel, 500 piece. That's 500 lumber uh, pieces. We're going to get the awesome dog house. All this does is change the color of your dog house's roof. I also want to get the cute clock. Okay, if that's what you want. Congratulations. Yes, I blatantly cheated. I completely did. And you know what? If I can get 500 pieces of lumber so I never have to worry about lumber again, I will do that. Yeah, I literally never have to cut lumber again now. I can get all the rest of the home extensions, and I'll have enough lumber to make a corral for my cows for when it's not winter. So yeah, my doghouse is a bit fancier now, as you can see. And also, check out my clock. It's now got a cow pa pattern on it. How utterly fabulous. Get it? You'll get it eventually. Welcome home, honey. Hey, baby, are you glad I got some cool stuff at the races? Probably not. She probably is like, do we, do we really need another doghouse? Did you really have to mess with the space-time continuum that much just because you desperately wanted a cow clock and a slightly fancier house for your dog? Yes, honey, I do. I need that. And now we have almost a thousand lumber. Oh, hey, we got two adult cows now. All right, we're going to go into the village today and befriend some people as well as put our blue rock to some good use. Oh, the church is locked. It shouldn't be. Hey, kids. Thank you, I like you a lot. I can read books a little now. That's good, keep it up. Hey you. Thanks. Say, when are you gonna have a baby? Do you even know how? 
This is not exactly something I want to get into on my channel. Uh, t please, tell me. Women carry the seeds for babies in their stomachs. The seeds sprout when they get married, but to grow, they need your love, too. Am I half right? Sure, that's the G-rated version. We'll, we'll go with that. Wow, is this for me? Thanks. I still can only read a little. By the way, dude, I've been married for, like, two weeks now. So, I mean, come on. Oh, thank you. It's my favorite. I call it study, but I only teach the basics. Is it good enough? You are good enough. You are not the weakest link. Hey, Ellie's grandma. This town, it's nothing special, but I love it here. I'm so lucky to have been born and raised here. I met you, and then your grandfather, too. Alright, if we go into Saibara's craft shop, he's the one we want to give the blue rock to. Give him a blue rock. Oh, it's a blue rock! Thank you! So, now, check out what's gonna happen. We leave his shop, we come back in, and, hey, this looks different. I fired that vase myself. Nice colors, eh? It costs 2,000 G. So that's pretty cool. What? But this is great! I know it is, but I want to show off something else. Uh, so we gave him the blue rock. If you, uh, pick it up after you give it to him... <laughs> I fired that vase myself! Literally in, like, one half of a millisecond, apparently, from the time that you decided to pick it up and the time you actually did pick it up. I managed to take it out of your hands, uh, dye the whole thing, let it sit and dry, and put it in my kiln to, like, harden up, too. Hehehe. <laughs> Cost 2,000 G. Sure. Please use it carefully. How would I use it dangerously? Like, I'm not gonna bash someone over the head with it. Come on. Time to get some cake! <laughs> oh, no. Cake? Now, per... Personally, this is just me, I personally prefer apple pie over cake. Apple pie is the ultimate dessert. Alright dude, here, have an eggplant. Oh, thank you. Ten years have passed in a flash. When I was young, ten years seemed like a long time. Everything speeded up after I turned 20. It's amazing. I agree, first ten years of my life were way longer than the second ten. <laughs> but that's just perspective. It's because in your new- Oh, it's this guy! Hello, I'm the Gourmet Mad. I'm traveling around the world looking for delicious food. This guy will randomly appear here after you've restored the vineyard and, like, their wine gets better. It's so weird. Ugh. Don't befriend him. There is literally no purpose to befriending him. Ooh, actually, wait. Before I go to the mine, I want to go here and order some stuff. Hey, dudes. Let's see... I just need the stairway and the log terrace, that's it. I'm getting the stairway first, then. Shall I make that? Yes. Okay, I'll drop by the farm to make an estimate. Give me the lumber and money, then. Yeah, sure. Stairway is kinda lame, but it's not as lame as the log terrace. Someday I will fill this place, the village, and the mountains with flowers. It's my... it's Papa's and Mama's dream. I mean, it's the winter right now, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit. But that's a good dream to have. Wow. Both times I've gone to the second floor, it's been super slim pickings. What is up with that? Woohoo! You got a Pantata root. That is good. There's a special use for that. Still not the best, but it's up there. I really want to find the power nut that's buried down here. Ooh, another Pontata root. Nice! Ooh, blue rock. Another Pontata root? Really? Now that's what I'm talking about. And, yep, out of time. Knew that was coming. We're done for the day. Come back again tomorrow. I will try. Now that I'm allowing myself to cheat, <laughs> I, hey, this is turning out great. Yes, I am, I am aware I am pretty blatantly cheated in this. And honestly, it's mainly just to make sure I get the stuff done. So I can massively speed up the episodes. Good, okay, I'll get started tomorrow. 
Yeah, you thought I was lying about that? I was not lying about that. So I'm just going to sell everything I found, except I'm going to keep one Pontata root uh, around. Uh, as it makes a very nice gift for somebody. Time for me to buy a new cow. This might be the last cow we get. Depends on if I want one sheep or two sheep. I think you only need one in order to get the best ending, but... You never know. That's the thing. But regardless, I'm getting a cow today. Hey man, brought you a tomato. Oh thank you, it's my favorite. You should come join us on Sundays. I should. Except I'm, I'm a practicing Christian. I am not into Harvest Goddess, whatever it's called. Alright, so... Here's the thing. I'm pretty low on stamina. Like, more so than yesterday. I could buy more cake, but I've got a better idea on how to get up a lot of stamina that actually doesn't cost you a cent. Ah, that's the stuff. Ninety-nine bottles of beer under all. Ninety-nine bottles of beer. You take more time, you pass it around. Wait, 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 wait a minute. I'm not drinking beer. I'm drinking wine. <laughs> and that's probably what I would be like if I was drunk. I will not be drunk. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Jack's like, oh, it's such hard work stealing somebody else's wine. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. And then as a bonus, this will build up our al alcohol tolerance, so that'll help us for the New Year's Day festival. I swear to drunk, I'm not drunk. <laughs> I still love how my guy got tired just using the bottle. <laughs> that does boost your stamina, though, so... Uh, I was not stealing wine. I was so surprised the first time I saw snow, I didn't know what was falling. The daughter laughed at me a lot. That's uh, great, man. I love you. <laughs> wait, wait a second, guys. Wait, I, I feel like... The world is zigzagging. I, I don't get I don't get this. What's going on? <laughs> oh no, I just realized my my potato root. I couldn't give it away today. <laughs> I wanna go digging today. <laughs> uh you look kinda drunk. Maybe you should go to bed. No, I wanna dig. <laughs> Remember, kids, never drink in mine. I dug up a lot of potato roots today. <laughs> Keep it in a shack and aim for it and care for it. Hey, look! Invisible Pontata root. Enter your cow's name. Oh. You know, I totally want to type in Shia LaBeef, but that doesn't fit on, so... Let's try to find some, some other name. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Bullet. Hey, what the heck? My potato root materialized. It vaporized. Actually, something I want to check. Is a potato root edible? It's not. Interesting. <laughs> well, sweetie, this is the last tomato I have. It's yours. Appreciate it. Oh no! I completely did not feed my new cow yesterday. But thankfully nothing bad happened. Oh my gosh, I am horrible for not doing that. To be fair though, yesterday I was drunk, so... Bet you never thought you'd hear that from Colorful already. I got cash to burn, so why not? 
pick up things you want to buy. Do you want to ask me any questions? I'm gonna buy... A cow. Yes, I really, really do not like sheep. Because <laughs> I can only afford one more animal in my barn. And it has to be a sheep if I want the best ending. But doggone it, sheep are just terrible, so I only want one. <laughs> I'm actually going to church today on Sunday. Apparently the mayor and his wife are not here. I brought a gift for you, the pastor. Oh, thank you! It's my favorite. People want to love, though they tend to focus on their want to be loved. But to get love, you need to give love. Wise words, Pastor Brown. Do you have a son named Charlie? Yep, <laughs> now the mayor's in here. The mayor's wife apparently cut. That's okay. Thank you very much, she's really okay. Hey, Artie, the Starlight Festival's on the 24th. I wonder how you'll be spending the time. Um, dude, can you please just stop? You're almost as bad as your wife uh, about that. You're not quite a robot, but let's just say I can see why you two are a couple. Oh, um, <laughs> hi, uh, what are you doing down here? I wasn't going to steal wine. No, I, uh, I'm just the wine tester. Yeah, your parents are, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Karen's parents are uh, paying me to uh, sample the wine, make sure it hasn't gone cloudy yet. You, this isn't suspicious at all. No, sorry, there's no reason to call the cops. Oh, wait a second. There are no police in this town. Unless Harris doubles as a policeman. I know he's a constable in um, Friends of Mineral Town, but he's just the mailman in this. Never mind. Who's going to stop me? Nobody. I'm more athletic than you. I beat uh, you at the swimming festival. I had to cause a wrinkle in the fabric of the time-space continuum, but I still beat you fair and square. Even though it completely was not fair and square. Uh, I can't think straight anymore. <laughs> Oh, Kai, what are you doing here? I didn't see you there. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Ooh, rare metal. Nice. Keep it in a shack. Name for it and care for it. Man, I've been waiting here literally all day. Alright, last cow. Better make it have a good name. Let's see. Creamia. Any Majora's Mask fans? Anyone? Any fans of puns? Anyone? I can't be the only one. Alright, I'm going to save my potato root and my rare metal, which I found. I'm going to give the Pantata Root to the Post Shop Dealer. I am going to give the rare metal to Rick, because he was like, I really want rare metals. And apparently you can't give them rare metals when they're in the mine. Weirdly enough. But darn it, that power nut. It's so elusive. I must have it. It must be mine. Smooch, hi. You're awesome. Keep being awesome. All right, that's going to do it for this episode of Harvest Moon 64. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. If you tune in next time, I think we'll actually finish the year. We very well might, even though we have a ton of festivals to get through in order to do that. But I hope to see you then. Have a great day, and God bless.